good morning friends my name is ajay sharma and following the field of immigration has been a passion for me and it's been a passion for me since last 20 years on regular basis i present these videos to guide and inform the prospective migrants on various subjects related to immigration this particular video that will follow is my attempt to simply inform and guide you it should not be taken as legal advice in any manner whatsoever you should always take advice of a regulated consultant or authorized representative or a lawyer before taking final steps from my side this is an attempt to inform you and guide you in the process based on my knowledge my understanding of what the immigration process or processes are about thank you very much and i hope you enjoy this journey of information as i talk about the express entry program to canada when we were talking of uh, comprehensive ranking system or crs uh, you know we discussed at length uh, that how in the crs uh, anybody who is having a job offer or, or a provincial nomination straightway gets an opportunity to move higher in the ranking because of 600 points that's been allocated for the purpose of job offer or provincial nomination well you know it, it's very exciting it's very important but first of all keep in mind that provincial nomination or a job offer is not a compulsory requirement to be eligible for express uh, uh, express entry uh, program of uh, for federal skilled workers number one but most importantly in my opinion is the fact that's a very concerning point for us uh, at abhinav and then all the genuine uh, agencies across the world who do not want the prospective migrants to fall into trap of uh, frauds that will become common feature uh, now that uh, people know that uh, having job offers uh, will mean more points so you will suddenly have many mails coming into you you will see many websites which are promising you uh, that you know we are going to get your jobs and thereby because we'll give we'll do a job search for you we'll uh, we'll get you a job and because you'll get a job offer we'll get you a confirmed job offer from a canadian employer we'll do this all this required coordination for you well and more importantly they promise you all this they're welcome to do so but they are charging you thousands of dollars lakhs millions they talk about the money that's unlimited at times and then with no accountability as to whether or not actually they're going to get the job offers there's no commitment there's no guarantee so what you do is this they take money from you and they say we are searching and the search is incomplete and even if the search is incomplete and they do not get the offer what they say is this sorry we tried but we did not get it for you in the process what happens you lose valuable money and time in our considered opinion do not waste your time in paying a single penny to anybody for a job search process do not do that do not pay a single dollar a single dollar i say to anybody who says that they will give you a job or get you a job from a canadian employer i'll tell you why it's not only that they do not guarantee but even to conduct the search they take thousands of dollars from you so that money is gone anyways the contract are so watertight that even if you later on they'll say we tried there will be no way you can get that money thousands of dollars that you have paid back do not get into that trap number one in majority of cases what will happen is this as in the past has been found many times that there have been some canadian employers who are in league with these so called search agencies or search players so you know everything happens in a very uh, irregular quite an illegal manner at times so monies are exchanged with no record no document who's giving money to whom and that money is essentially flowing out of you in the in the in the in the, in, in the end so the offer comes in ultimately to you and what happens after that what happens after that is that cic all the canadian agencies will definitely investigate and may investigate wherever they see an element of suspicion because if offers are coming from blue chip companies nobody is going to question them 
but if the offer is coming in from a very small level company who is hardly a significant employer for their own uh, for, for their business while they've been in existence in Canada but suddenly they are hiring foreign employees so the antennas will go up and investigations will go in and once the investigations go in and you know any of these employers suddenly say you know what we don't have that vacancy now we used to have it earlier or they for some reason or the other they say no we do not uh, now support this particular job offer that we had given earlier and suddenly all that happens is this if it was a fraud anyway the action may be taken against the employer but if it was a f even if they withdraw the nomination at any point of time if they withdraw the offer at any point of time who is the end sufferer because CIC after investigation will say sorry the employer is no longer supporting your offer or in the investigation we found that particular uh, offer that you have is no longer valid or we found that it's a fraud the employer was never eligible to uh, give you this offer in the first place so what will happen CIC will say okay sorry you know these additional points you are taken they, they, uh, they are no longer valid for your application so you remove from the ranking and suddenly you're back to square one but much before that you already lost that thousands of dollars whose trail is no longer available those people who were till yesterday running those wonderful websites offering you jobs job offers job search those websites are not to be seen those people are not to be seen and even where they are to be seen their contracts are so watertight in terms of job search process for which they've taken money from you you go to them they'll say we conducted the search here is uh, where we sent all the emails if they did not report back what do we do we are not to be blamed do not pay a single penny to anybody for job search do not get become part of or you know be, become a victim of any of these frauds because rest assured that almost anybody who is telling you that they'll get you a job offer for money almost each one of them is a fraud do not fall victim to a fraud go through the normal process and what is the normal process normal process is very simple get into the express entry pool file into the Canadian job bank if you are lucky and if you are qualified and if you are good you are credible you will be picked out of the Canadian job bank and you are picked out then as it is you got a genuine employer because you are picked out of the job bank and you are picked up directly by the federal or a provincial agency or by the employer you go through a genuine process through that genuine process you get a genuine confirmed job offer and through that genuine confirmed job offer you move up in the rankings and through that you improve your chances of getting a residence visa that and that is the only right way do not pay anybody for job search do not pay anybody for getting your job do not pay any money to get you a confirmed job offer for god's sake save your money save your life remember very well that should you not take these precautions and it's found that the offer that you gave was a fraudulent offer you'll be debarred from filing for Canadian permanent residency for next five years don't do that be part of a very normal genuine process if you deserve it you'll get the residency process and you'll get the residency visa that's our assurance stay in touch write to us at contact at abino.com or visit our site at www.abino.com for any information the genuine information the right information that you need on immigration process or program for any country thank you very much have a nice day